Hey there folks, Santee the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Y'all have been asking about Gatling gun footage for a long time now. Well, we finally got some. This very recognizable firearm has a fascinating history. Remember that you are dealing with an era where the majority of arms required reloading after one shot or revolvers with a full cylinder. The invention of a continuous rapid fire device would change warfare. The American Civil War was an amazing time for gun manufacturers. Improvements and sometimes failures were emerging with hopes of getting those military contracts. Hey, gotcha. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Listen, uh, this week I'm doing something on Gatling guns, and I'm having a little trouble finding movie references. Do you... Oh, like the Duke in uh, Rooster Cardburg, where he says, hey, Rooster, you don't even know how to use that contraption. And he goes, Ch -ch 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 he goes, kind of goes something like that, right? Yeah. You got the gun, but you ain't got the know-how to use it. Demony, show him. This famous gun was invented by Dr. Richard Jordan Gatling, who graduated from Ohio Medical College and never actually practiced medicine. Instead, he patented many of his inventions, including steam-powered propellers, tractors, and even a wheat drill. Many thought it was ironic that a physician went on to create a mass killing machine. I don't want grace. I don't want pity. The good doctor was heavily affected by the loss of life during war and thought if he could make a gun that one man could operate that did the job of a hundred, it would lead to less men on the battlefield. He came up with the idea from one of his seed planter inventions and began drafting. Okay, okay, I got the one with... Wait, wait. Sorry, Quit sorry. doing that! I got the one for Rooster Cogburn, I need another movie. What's another movie? Gatling, the Gatling gun. gun. Yeah. The Wild Bunch. Wild Bunch. Yeah. No, that was a Maxim machine gun for World War I. What else you got? War wagon. Look at that wagon. What are they dragging? War wagon, war wagon, you know? And then, and then he says, and then, uh, Kurt, Kurt Douglas says, he goes, you know what, I'm glad I didn't kill you tonight. You're funny as that. Remember that one? I, yeah. I do. And he's like, and he goes, Stony Flats, the war went. Gatling's plan was connecting 10 barrels, each of which, when rotated by a crank, was loaded and fired once during a complete rotation. The barrels were loaded by gravity with a magazine located above the gun. Each barrel was loaded and fired as you crank the, uh, crank. <clears throat> also, during this rotation, spent casings were ejected. In 1862, Richard was awarded the patent. Hey, Santee, you got a dinosaur over there on Arizona Ghost Riders, but do you have a Gatlin gun? Yeah, how about that, Rex? <laughs> Originally, the gun fired paper cartridges, which severely limited the amount of rounds and added lengthy reload times. When the self-contained cartridge was introduced, it allowed this machine gun to fire 200 rounds per minute with changing out the 20-round stick magazine. Later on, drums were added that could hold 100 to 400 rounds. So this is a 58 caliber round. Were they actually chambered in 58 caliber? Yes, in the beginning of time, the <laughs> military wanted everything to be the same size. So they were still using 58 caliber muskets and muzzle loaders, so hence the 58 caliber Gatling gun. And as the uh, calibers decreased in the carry weapons, the larger ones did too, so everything was the same. As well as the 58 caliber, the Gatling gun was chambered in 5070, 42, 4570, 3040 Craig, 30 aught 3 Springfield, and 30 aught 6 Centerfire. Oof, that's a lot. Although 12 of the guns were purchased by Union officers during the war, the military didn't officially buy any until 1866. 
It wasn't only popular in America. The British, French, Spanish, Russian, Turkish, and Japanese armies were equipped with Gatling guns. By the 1870s, Gatling guns were apparent in forts on the frontier. The campaigns they were taken on proved successful against the superior numbers of Native Americans that attacked them. It is said the 7th Cavalry had them, but clearly not that day at the Little Bighorn. George, you forgot the Gatling guns. Gatling guns? We don't need no stinking Gatling guns. Well, it's your funeral. In 1893, Dr. Gatling patented one operated by an electric motor, which could fire up to 3,000 rounds per minute. By 1897, Colt purchased the Gatling Gun Company. The following year, we see its use in the Spanish-American War at the Battle of San Juan Hill, when Lieutenant John Henry Parker and his detachment poured 18,000 rounds into the Spanish defenses. Dr. Gatling died on February 26, 1903, and by 1911, his magnificent invention was considered obsolete. However, it gave rise to some of the best rapid-fire tech we have today. Hey, Dan, what you got there? Well, you said you wanted a Gatling gun, so I got you a Gatling gun. I wanted a real Gatling gun. That's just what a toy. It? No, it's not a toy. It's a real Gatling gun. It's a little miniature toy. It's not a Gatling gun. Yeah. Right. You crank the handle, multiple bullets come out the end. Damn. People fall down everywhere. It looks like it's something you get in a dime store. After the cannon incident, you don't believe me. Are you ready, sir? Oh. Brace yourself for the impact. <laughs> well, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. And he's on the river, Catherine Hepburn? Yeah. I, 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 I. <laughs> right? Right. I, 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 I. Did 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 did